Now we're going to take the equilibrium of a body under the action of three forces. A body is in equilibrium means that all the forces acting on the body cancel each other. So equilibrium is a state of balance between opposing forces. If a body is in equilibrium under the action of two forces, then the two forces are equal in magnitude, opposite in direction, and they are acting on the same line of action. If two coplanar forces, F1 and F2, are acting at a point and they are in equilibrium, then F1 and F2 are equal in magnitude, opposite in direction, and they are acting on the same straight line. And this is the condition of equilibrium of a body under the action of two forces. Now the equilibrium of a body under the action of three forces. If three coplanar forces F1, F2, and F3 are acting at a point and they are in equilibrium, and if R1 and 2 is the resultant of F1 and F2, then the two forces R1 and 2 and F3 are balanced, are balanced. Then then from the conditions of equilibrium of the two forces, we deduce that R1 and 2 and F3 are equal in magnitude, opposite in direction, and they have the same line of action. And generally, if three forces acting at a point are in equilibrium, then the resultant of any two forces is equal in magnitude to the third force and acts in the opposite direction and they have the same line of action. Now, example one. Three coplanar forces, 8, 10, and 12 Newton, act at a particle. If the three forces are in equilibrium, what is the measure of the angle between the last two forces? To find the measure of the angle between the last two forces, 10 and 12, we have F1 equals 12, F2 equals 10, and F3 is, F3 is 8 newtons. The angle between F1 and F2 is theta. Since the three forces are in equilibrium, then the resultant of the two forces, 10 and 12, equals the third force or equals 8. Remember how to find the resultant of two forces. The resultant of two forces R squared equals F1 squared plus F2 squared plus 2 F1 times F2 times cosine theta, where theta is the angle between F1 and F2. Then the resultant R is 8, so 8 squared equals F1 squared, so 10 squared plus F2 squared, so 12 squared plus 2 F1 or 2 times 10 times 12 times cosine of the included angle between the two forces, theta. Simplify and get cosine theta. So cosine theta is negative 3 over 4. Then the angle theta between F1 and F2 is 138 degree and 35 minutes.